the Carolina Sprint Tour right here on Monday Morning Racer. Hello, I'm Lee Kraft, host of the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. In focus tonight at Carolina Speedway, just outside of Gastonia, North Carolina. The action track of the Carolinas is the Carolina Sprint Tour, the only Sprint Tour dedicated to the Carolinas. And they do some racing in Georgia and Virginia as well well they've already got their hot laps completed for these 305 sprints and we are about to see on the monday morning racer youtube channel right here three heat races before going to the feature racked and stacked ready for carolina heat race number one we are green wisdom gets the advantage on the front straightaway followed by leffler and oliver oliver almost slides up into the nina miller Oliver takes that third position. Wisdo, handily in the first position, coming to complete lap number one. Oliver coming up on the seven machine of Leffler, looking for that second spot. Oliver to his inside, coming to the line. Leffler still in second. Three laps down, Wisdo still your leader. Second Leffler, third Oliver. Fourth Miller, fifth is Lamb. Sixth is Emig. Cross flags, four down, four to go in the Carolina Sprint Tour Heat Race One. Oliver under a little bit of attack from Miller in the nine, looking to still chase down the seven of Leffler for that second spot. He's looking to get them very precious passing points. Miller looked to the inside of Oliver there, didn't make it work. Coming to two laps to go for Wisdo in heat race number one. Miller still not making that inside prevail on the veteran Oliver. White flag, one lap to go for Richard Wisdo in heat race one. Will Miller have anything for Oliver in the 29 for that third spot? Coming to the checkered flag, your heat race one winner, Rich Wisdo. The number 10 one heat number one and that is rich wisdo right here at carolina speedway what do you think going into the feature this action track is going to race into for you all in the sprint cars i think it's going to be uh it's going to be a good show we have a good group of cars that come out tonight and uh fast guys i think it's going to be interesting I think it's going to be good for the fans um and We'll be somewhere up front. We're going to make the best of it. Creeping down the back straightaway into turn three, into turn four. We are green flag for Carolina Sprint Tour, heat race two. Bardell and Blaney side by side heading into turn one. Bardell with the advantage. We have a front no wing off for Nick Tucker. Caution is out. Him and the 38 of Lewis were involved. Three heat races tonight. Awesome 20 car field. Getting ready for the second try at a start for heat race number two with the Carolina Sprint Tour. Green flag, green flag, green flag. Side by side in turn one and two. Sean Bardell takes the lead in 86, followed by Kozad and Chance. Side by side action for Nick Tucker and Orzakowski. You can tell there's some little bit of woo, Tucker trying the slide job in three and four, and he gets the pass for four. Bardell, your leader. Looks like that nose wing ain't slowing Tucker down too much. He's definitely having to fight that machine, though. Lewis starting to look like he's going to make a move on the 28 of Tucker. Bardell, still your leader. Two laps down. Bardell and Kozad looking to take advantage of that upper lane here on the speedway. Track prep crew has definitely done a good job with that tonight. 
A little three car gaggle there for that third spot between Chance, Tucker, and Lewis. Bardell still your leader, four laps down, four to go in Carolina Sprint Tour Heat Race, number two. Three laps to go for Sean Bardell here in heat race number two. A second goes at third, still chance, fourth, Tucker with no front nose wing. Looks like that nose wing, no, no, no nose wing, no problem for Nick Tucker right now in that fourth spot. Two laps to go for Sean Bardell. He was a late arrival tonight, missing his heat group number two, and going out with the third group. One lap to go for Bardell the Outlaw. Second Kozad, he sure has had a lot of speed through the first few weeks of the Carolina Sprint Tour season. Coming to the checkered flag, heat race two winner, Sean Bardell. Second place, Kale Kozad. Third, Josh Sand. Fourth, Nick Tucker. Fifth, Tyler Lewis. Sixth is going to go to Tyler Orsikowski. And round out the field in seventh is George Blaney. The 86 wins the heat number two out there at Carolina Speedway. You're looking at Sean Vardell, the owner and promoter of the Carolina Sprint Tour. I know you're excited to win anything so far this year, but why is the Carolina Sprint Tour so important here within the Southeast? Uh, sprint cars in the Southeast is a hard breed to get, to get motivation. We're in the middle of stock car country. Um, we really try to promote this deal for the blue collar class because you can get one of these fairly under 30 grand and go run for a decent amount of money every night and put on a show and still be faster than late models and super late models in the area. You have raced here plenty of times. What do you expect out of this track going into the feature? Uh, I expect it to get a little bit more slick, but there's still a hell of a cushion on top, and I can't wait to see what we can do up there. But there's, this place got a lot of surprises. Racing, uh, racing here is pretty tough, especially when you get into lap traffic. There's, there's a lot of mulligans, so we'll see what we can do. Coming to the green, green for Carolina Sprint Tour Heat Race, number three. Side by side, Fruji and Louts. Louts takes the first spot. Here comes Scott Hunter on the inside. That's good. Good hurt, little Eric. One, one lap down, it is George Louts as your leader. Three car battle, four set between Fruji, Hunter, and Baldwin. Coming down the front stretch, two laps down for Louse. Six to go. The battle to watch is between these three cars for second. Fruity still has the advantage over Baldwin and Hunter. Hunter sure did have some speed three weeks ago at TR and Livonia. Had some issues come in his way to stop him from victory both of those nights. Could he have some success this weekend? Hunter looks to the inside of Fruity for second. Hunter on the inside that one machine. Wheel to wheel battles. Fruity still advances on the outside. Fruity still in second. Hunter coming on the middle lane. Hits him right in the tail tank. Hunter goes up the racetrack. Baldwin comes underneath. Underneath him for third. Will Hunter be able to get back his get back? Baldwin up to third. Lauch had him, has him by over a straightaway. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go for George Lauch. Second still Fruity. Here comes the 67 of the youngster Baldwin. Who will get second? Coming through turn three and four. Your Carolina Sprint Tour Heat Race winner is George Louch. This Dylan Baldwin takes a second position from first. He comes through turn Checker three and down. four. Heat Race second position goes to Baldwin. Third, Fruity, fourth, Hunter. Finishing up fifth will be Australia's Gareth Palmer.
in the third heat, George Lux wins it, but a f newcomer to Carolina Speedway here in Gastonia, North Carolina, Dylan Baldwin. What do you think of the action track out there? It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's a big track. I'm not we're used to bull rings in Ohio and Indiana, so it's a change, but I like it. It's I'm having a lot of fun out there. How can folks follow you and your career out here in the sprints, man? On Facebook, it's Dylan Baldwin Racing, and on Instagram, we're DB67 Racing. Creeping down the back straightaway, starting to approach a restart zone in three and four. Coming to the green flag by the flagman. Green flag, green flag, green flag for he dash action. Baldwin takes the advantage. Three wide almost per second. Louts takes that second spot. Third is Lofler. Fourth followed by Wisdow. Lap one led by Baldwin. Could he start on the pole for his first ever Car or his third ever Carolina Sprint Tour race? First pole. Now all single file, all six cars coming to six more laps. Baldwin, Louts, Lofler, Wisdo, Bardell, and Kozad. Kozad starting to make a little bit of a jump on the 86 of Bardell. Baldwin still in control, three laps down. Kozad looking to the outside almost. Cuts under the 86 of Bardell, down the back straightaway. This is for your fifth spot. Goes out of the advantage. As Bardell rolled outside. Wheel to wheel. Bardell in fifth. Bardell gets that advantage on the back straightaway. For fifth. Three laps to go for Dylan Baldwin. The Kentucky native is really putting it on him right now. Two laps to go for Dylan Baldwin and George Louse. Third, still Loeffler. Fourth, Wisdow. Fifth is Bardell. And sixth is Kozad. White flag in the air. One lap to go for Carolina Sprint Tour Dash Race. Does Kozad have anything for Bardell for fifth? Going out of turn four, your pole sitter tonight for Carolina Sprint Torres, Dylan Baldwin. Second, Louse. Third, for Lofler. Fourth, Wesdow. Fifth, Bardell. And sixth, Kozak. Dylan Baldwin, the young man, first time ever here at Carolina Speedway, will lead the field to the green for the Carolina Sprint Tour. They made a rear gear change to get him ready for the feature, and he said that it is quick out there. It is quite racy, and he is looking forward to racing right here at the action track of the Carolinas, Carolina Speedway, to the feature right here on Monday Morning Racer. If you look to the front straightaway, you'll see the baddest front row drivers in the Carolinas situated four wide as a salute to you. Coming to the green flag for 25 laps at Carolina Speedway. Green flag, green flag, green flag, green flag for 25 laps. Baldwin gets the jump going into turn one. Three wide per second. Four wide, almost five wide through the field. Scott Hunter into the wall. Three wide through the back end of the field. Leading lap number one is Dylan Baldwin. Second lap, third Loeffler. Side by side with Pose Abby Hunter. Loeffler maintained that third position from Nick Tucker, who finally got his front nose wing back on. Two laps down. Battle here between two Wiley veterans, Jeff Oliver and Richard Wisdow. That is for the fifth position. 
good battle for third here. Nick Tucker starting to chase down the seven of Loafler. Can Tucker use his experience to get past the rookie? 22 of Frucci has a little bit of trouble navigating the inside lane of turn one and two. Leader still Baldwin. They are already coming up on lap traffic of the nine of Lamb. Lauf's not too far behind. Still almost side by side for third. Loeffler maintains a position over Tucker. Tucker to the inside. Gets a little bit into the infield. Loeffler maintains an advantage. Lauf's looking to the inside of Baldwin for the lead. Drag race to the line. Who's your leader? It's still Baldwin. They have to navigate this first lap car of Chris Lamb. Great move back past Louts. Side by side, three wide, turn three and four. New leader, George Louts, the speedy meatball. Coming up on the 11T of Gareth Palmer, the lap car. Both were still able to maintain that third spot. Now a lap car between the leaders. The 67 of Baldwin navigates past Palmer. Here comes Lozler for second. Lauf starting to expand his lead. Put the lap car Robert Tyler between him and Baldwin. Sixteen laps to go. Nine down. Slow car on the front straightaway. Robert Tyler. Robert Tyler slow on the outside. He was running in the 18th position. Creeping down the back straightaway, getting ready to be back under the green flag. Green flag, green flag. Green flag for George Louse. How will Baldwin battle back to try to take over the lead once again? That was a clean restart. Will Louse be able to hold off Baldwin? Will Loeffler be able to move farther forward? We have two, four, almost three cars. Caution, back and up. That is the 11 of George Blaney, the 38 of the hot dog high roller Tyler Jankowski, and the 9 of Chris Lamb. We are back under the green. Louts with the advantage. Loeffler looks to the inside of Baldwin. It failed. Side by side through the back of the field. Another battle again with Kozad and Bardell. Louts leads another. 15 laps to go. Oh, car around Scott Hunter. That's going to be a red flag. Scott Hunter tumbled up and over on the front straightaway there, checking, making sure the driver is okay. All, both drivers are okay. That is another rough tumble for Scott Hunter, who's having a rough start to the 2024 campaign. Definitely a lot of speed. Just the luck bug hasn't really helped him out much. Rough hit that front top wing is completely as the field begins to snake down the back straightaway, starting to come back for that green flag by the flag man. Green flag, green flag. Turn three and four. We are back under the green. George Louts is first to fire. I called it out. Second, Baldwin. Third, the Nick Tucker. Side by side for Wisdo and Kozad. That is for the sixth spot. Tucker rocket. Oliver rocket pass Loeffler. Tucker looking to the inside of Baldwin. Baldwin keeps that second position. George Lobb starting to pull away for the moment. Bardell keeps up the trees. He sure is. The outlaw Bardell sure ripping that high side like he always does. Great battle in the top four here the two white car veterans of Oliver and Tucker. Look to the inside of the youngster is Tucker. Second place, Nick Tucker. 
George Laps has already expanded over to second lead from the second spot. Cordell passes Frucci quickly on the outside, hunting down Wisdow for seventh. Tucker handedly now has the second spot. Jeff Oliver chasing down Baldwin in third. Fifth place is Lopler. Six, Kozad, seven, Wisdow. Ten laps to go for George Laux, looking to pick up win at number two of the year, career win number five. Can the speedy meatball do it? By the end of this race, he will definitely come up on some lap traffic. Will that make this race more quantifying? As the tear-offs are flying, the wings are speeding around the speedway. Eight laps to go. Seven laps to lap. Second place is still Nick Tucker. Third, Dylan Baldwin. Fourth, Jeff Oliver. And round our top five is Connor Lovler. Oliver hunting down Baldwin for that third spot. Will the Wiley veteran be able to take the spot? Five laps to go. We have double 11s in front of the leader. Who's we have a car blowing up on the front straightaway? That's 18 of Josh Chance. Trying to duck in to get into the infield. He pulls off. We are still under the green flag. Currently coming up to three laps to go. Nick Tucker is right there with George Louse. Looking to the inside. Wheel to wheel. Nick Tucker is the leader. Three laps to go. We have the two 11s ahead of the leaders. This is going to be interesting. Coming to two laps to go. Can Louts take back the lead from Tucker? Tucker has been on a rail. Tucker gets to the inside of Palmer. Louts gets held up by Palmer. Nick Tucker coming to the white flag. One lap to go at Carolina. Down the back straightaway. North Carolina's Nick Tucker coming onto the front stretch. Here's your winner at Carolina Speedway. Second, Laux. Third, Dylan Baldwin. Fourth, Oliver. Fifth, Connor Lopper. Sixth, Kozad. Seventh, Bardell. Eighth, Wisdow. Ninth, Lewis. And tenth, Orzakowski. 25, the Rock Hill, South Carolina. Sixth will be Aiden Massey, the 25, Adam Monroe. Well, for most of that feature, it was the 48 leading of George Laux. But this man, Mr. Tucker, Nick Tucker, he's the one who picked up the win. Describe to us, because it was off camera, how you got around the leader to pick up the win here at Carolina Speedway. Well, our car was just really, really good on the bottom, and uh, it just played into our hands, right? You know, we just uh, we worked our way up, had to start seventh, and uh, just kept picking them off. And once I got a little clean air when I got to second, I was really able to really hammer the bottom hard and uh, the car handled great. My crew had it, I mean, it was dialed and we just, we were about three tenths a lap faster than them and, and just when we got there, just the hole opened up and we got them. So with a couple to go. Nice to see the bottom working here at Carolina Speedway. I've seen it at the action track, well be a one groove racetrack. Yeah, it's really multi-groove. You know, the top was pretty good really early in the night, and it stayed all right, and then and then it uh, kind of just came to us. Um, you know, Troy had it dialed in, Sparky, and, and and all my guys, and Mike Ciccolo, I got to thank him for letting me drive this thing. We don't run that much anymore, so uh, it's fun to get, you know, come out here and do it, and uh, it's especially fun to get a win. Nick Tucker wins the Carolina Sprint Tour at Carolina Speedway.